Drape it so it's. Uh, it's on the towel instead of on the On the chair. There we go. There we go. All right. Hey, so I think now we're live. This is Kyle and Alexa who are getting married October 31st. Yay. Uh, Kyle has decided to, um, in solidarity, uh, get his head shaved for me because uh, I'm gonna cut my hair next it's getting really super super thin and I keep pulling out handfuls of it and my scalp hurts so I figure I'm gonna go ahead and cut my hair so um, I know uh, go ahead you can start cutting this hair whenever you're ready I <laughs> know uh, if you put on music then it will like kill the feed the oh. feed okay. yeah that's why I turned off the TV yeah, Instagram is like crazy about that. So, there we go. First part. She just went straight for it. I know. She's All right, so one of the <laughs> so one of the issues <laughs> has been is like uh, me trying to get to Houston for uh, cancer treatment, and uh, the problem is is when it comes to. Um, like the movies, which seems to be like the best way we know about cancer treatment, normally it's like you have a weird pain somewhere, you go to the doctor, they run some tests, and then they pull up a, a nice picture, and they point it out, and they say, hey, here's the problem, it's this kind of tumor, and you know, and then curing ensues. Uh, and, and that tends to be it. But I had to do things in a completely different order. Um, so first of all, I ended up at the hospital because of abdominal pain. Uh, it wasn't, I had been going to the doctor and they were trying to figure out something, but they didn't know what. Um, and I ended up going to the hospital and they were the ones who discovered, uh, masses on my liver. Uh, the problem is, is that, and they did do a biopsy right away, but my liver was so kind of messed up that they needed to spend the first couple of weeks doing triage on my liver. So I have two liver stents, and now I have this awesome extra bag. Your liver my bag. Bile, my bile buddy, that now carries around outside my body <laughs> um, for treatment. Um, then the other problem has been is the doctors have been not been able to easily figure out uh, what kind of cancer I have. Uh, back in the early June, I did call MD Anderson and the problem was is they needed a clear picture, like you have lung cancer or you have a brain tumor. Um, and the doctors kept saying, we don't know what it is. Uh, I recently pulled all the, got all the records from June 1st through August 1st. And sure enough, when I read through all the records, uh, there was uh, each time it talked about like a final diagnosis. Um, the doctors were still like, well, Maybe it's ovarian cancer, maybe it's liver cancer, maybe it's whatever. So clearly they didn't have a, a, a clean picture either. Um, and so that's been one of the things that's been holding us back. Uh, somebody finally committed and said, I have... Bile duct cancer. Yes, cancer of the bile duct, which is not technically a liver cancer. It is... Bile duct. A bile duct cancer, which is inside your liver, which is why I've been having problems with my liver. Um, but now that I have a regular diagnosis, then um, that MD Anderson is willing to look at and um, and process. But the other problem is, is in the meantime, because I do have these liver masses that apparently are pretty large. They were described as like 10 by 11 by something centimeters. So, definitely larger than a deck of cards. Uh, the doctors down here felt it was important to go ahead and start chemotherapy anyway, even though they weren't sure exactly what they were dealing with. Um, and so MD Anderson is leery of jumping in in the middle of treatment, uh, which has been the other problem that's kind of been slowing us down, is 
um, they don't want to interrupt the treatment that I'm already getting. So I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to be going. Um, they started talking about my cancer in cycles and we haven't quite gotten a solid cycle yet because I've had a couple of weeks where I've been dehydrated or other things. Um, and so we're just going to have to see and find out exactly when. So I might not get to MD Anderson until next month. Um, it might be in a couple of weeks. I don't know yet. Um, but that's what we're doing. How's he look? Beautiful. Beautiful. All shaved. There you go. Make sure you get those like random, random stray hairs. Yep. It's easier for a boy to go ahead and do this. It's easy for either side. Now, the aftermath, the judgmentalness of, uh, of guys, they're going to be like, oh, you shaved your head, you look like an idiot, and then, you know, that's it. Yeah. They'll, they'll move on. <laughs> That is true. I mean, she's going to be making fun of me about this for months, so. There you go. It'll grow back before the wedding. No, I well, won't. We'll continue to shave it. I don't care. Okay, do you like the long hair, but the short hair feels so... Like, right, so it feels fuzzy. Do you want it shorter, or is that cool? Well, do, you, do you think I should go shorter, Mom? I think it's fine. Okay. I'm going to clean it up from the bottom, though. Oh. Okay, so Alexa's going to clean it, and then she's going to... She's gonna do my head. So with my head, what's been happening is, uh, first of all, my scalp hurts uh, because of the chemotherapy, I guess. And then um, I've been, um, like, I'll end up pulling hair and I'll get this like big mass of hair. So my head is like, my hair is really thin anyway, um, but I'll end up with this like, these weird knots because of it. And so I decided like, this is it. I'm just gonna go ahead and like, just shave it short. So I don't have to worry about uh, pulling on it, and I can be nicer and gentler to my scalp uh, and stop picking picking at loose hair because that's what's been kind of happening. Is I've been sitting here and just like trying to pull hair out. So. Touch it. Mm, it's soft. Uh -huh. The last time I shaved my head was when, um, back in high school, and I had mentioned it to dad about, like, you know, shaving my head for the summer, and I think Zach was over. And my dad came out and he's like, you want to shave my head? You want me to shave your head right now? I was like, sure. So dad literally went and cut a trash bag, put it over my head, did all the sides, and said, okay, at this point, you can go to a barber and they can fix it. <laughs> Are you sure? I was like, yeah, go, go right ahead. So he did it right down the center, giving me a reverse mohawk. No, 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 his was literally right down the center. So if he had stopped, I would have had a, um, uh, just two mohawks. <laughs> The dual hawk, I guess. There we go. <laughs> Ready? All right. My turn. Okay, I'm gonna start. Mm -hmm. It's so much gonna stop your head right now, though. Mm-hmm. It's mm -hmm. like a melon. Right. There we go. Go ahead, mom. Ooh, do you uh, get the the broom? <laughs> Okay, yes. you, uh, where, where did you put the broom? I put it back. Why? Did you get it? Well, we were going to use it. Alright. Alright, so here I am. You want to sweep or wait? Yeah, we could sweep right now. <coughs> That's a lot of hair, Kyle. Hey, you've got 15 people watching right now, Mom. Well, look at that. You're an Instagram star. <laughs> Looks like the ring's going to pop out from there. In that corner of the couch. Okay. All right, let's 
Let's do this. Feels good. It feels satisfying to be able to get up with the hair. Feels weird, doesn't it, Mom? It does. You guys yeah. have a family haircut. Your dad, you. Uh huh. Everyone. Oh man, you've got right now. You've got the who was that? Um, that star that had half her head shaved. Where she had like the sides shaved and she still had it all long on the top, so she would like put it to the side. Hmm. I feel like I, during some time, a lot of stars, all the celebrities at that. Pink did that at one point, I think. Yeah, she did. Well, uh, Pink did it where she's got the, the sides and then she's got like, she had like a, almost like a mohawk. Mm hmm. Well, well remember when you had it you long like and you had it chick. half shaved up? Yeah. From the side you do, you look like a biker chick. <laughs> We're nuts. You don't look bad at all. Hmm. I'm like Nefertiti. Nothing wrong with that. I like the fact you chose carpe diem today. 
right? Seize the deck. It may be over. Fred says you are uh, you are badass. <laughs> you need a guitar, and he uh, he also says you can borrow one of his. Oh, there you go. Rockstar Wendy. <laughs> Got everything? I'm gonna clean down the sides and around the ears. Okay. Yeah. Remember the, the the it's a little hot. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll let it cool down for a little bit then. Oh yeah, it is pretty hot. Yeah. It feels weird. Right? Mm-hmm. I can still feel how sensitive my scalp is. But it means I'm not gonna be pulling at my hair. Mm -hmm. Because that's what was happening. <laughs> well, you're, you're going to try. Yeah. You're going to be like, it's, it's like when you don't have your glasses on, you still push up uh, your glasses. You're like, I need to wait. No, there's nothing there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When I have my contacts on, I'm like, yep. I, my I need to see better. Wait, it doesn't work. There we go. Um, I think, uh, I think Zach said Princess is making you some hats as well. Oh, yeah. cool. So he wants to bring those over probably uh, tomorrow or Monday. We should have hats and wigs galore. Fred says you missed a spot in the back. Uh, Brian says hashtag fuck cancer. <laughs> uh, Wendy can do some hate breed covers. I'm not even sure what that's a reference to, Fred. Uh, that's Fred, yes. I know, hate breed. <laughs> when I was feeling like really, really crazy, hate breed is like the thing that was like, oh yeah, I totally get this. <laughs> Alright, go for it. It's okay if it's warm. Oh. This is her uh, angry liver. It's her cancer buddy. As you can see, it is a little a little angry. Alright. 
Mm. All right, so let's see. There we go. No more hair. For the moment, anyway. All right. Bye, guys.